Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays Enter the Gungeon, episode 3. We're going to be playing as the Marine here. And I'm not talking about the 2008 John Cena film of the same name, probably. What do we start with as the Marine? We start with Always With You, Semi-Automatic. Well, Always With You must be a trait. Semi-Automatic was, of course, a trait. Marine Sidearm. Infinite Ammo does not reveal secret walls. The Marine Sidearm was brought to the Gungeon by a low-ranking Primer Dying Soldier. Though the gun appears sturdy, it has been known to fail when it is most needed. Active Item. Calls in an ammo drop. That seems really useful, depending on how often it can be used, or how frequently it can be used. Memories of your years in training. Better reload speeds and weapon accuracy. Hold facing enemy. I don't totally know what that means, considering it's a passive item, but okay, military training. I mean, I assume, I'm assuming it means what it sounds like. Use this item when you're facing an enemy uh, in order to get the value out of it. Um, we have three credits. You know what, let's just go down into the gungeon and... Hopefully, we'll, uh, while we're down here, we'll, we'll get some more credits, and then we can come back in the next episode and buy some stuff that's actually D-O-P-E dope. Okay. I do think we're, we're learning stuff here. We're making progress. It's a little, uh, a little loud, I think. Oh my god, I got hit already. I lost my helmet. Let me, let me turn down the volume a little bit. Let me pump, pump the jam, pump it up. Well, my feet are stomping. Here we go. Reload. Let's ignore the fact that we lost armor right off the bat because if I don't ignore that, it's going to be very embarrassing for myself. Okay, even worse. I did try to flip that table, but was just apparently far enough away from it that that didn't happen. Forgive me. We will persevere. I don't like the idea of just restarting instead of persevering. We're going to persevere. I gotta say, Marine Sidearm seems okay. Better weapon accuracy seems completely irrelevant with our starting weapon, or largely irrelevant with our starting weapon, and we basically have no need for our active item until uh, we actually pick something up. So we're definitely gonna do all the exploration on this floor necessary in order to get to our chest and, uh, and, and pick up an item, hopefully. No money? I mean, I didn't want my voice to get that high as a result of that indignity, but no money? Hold up, let's see what we got in here. Music notes, metronome. Uh, I hope that that doesn't make us do some Crypt of the Necrodancer-esque, uh, you know, fire in time with the music or something like that, because that plus talking means that I'm going to have some kind of, you know, brain cramp. Do those exist? I mean, the brain is a muscle. You know what the largest organ in the human body is? Uh, hey, Mark, your epidermis is showing. Okay. Okay, okay. Now, we do have blanks. I'm mean, trying not to use them until the boss fight. Just, like, I'm trying to get into the flow chart of Gungeon, if that makes sense. Isaac has a flow chart associated with it. Um, that took me years basically to get down to what I would consider to be a, an inexact science. Pretty lucky we didn't get hit there. Um, you know, you, you got the loop. You find the... Ooh, that's uh, another blind. Or blank, sorry. Sometimes I call them blinds, sometimes I call them blanks. Either way, you know what I mean. We're either playing blind or we're Billy Blanks. Um, the gameplay loop of Isaac is very simple now, but at the time it took forever. What is this? Dark energy permeates this shrine. Remain. Okay. Is this a challenge room of some sort? I think it may be a challenge room of some sort. I wonder what happens if we live through it. I've never seen this room before. Oh! Nice. Didn't get caught by that explosion. We are one heart down, but, you know, one heart down per floor is not the end of the world, honestly. We can usually get that back from our boss. And hopefully we pick up, like, another chest as a result of doing this. Right now, I have to be honest with you, I don't even know the full composition of the average Gungeon floor. Does it have one chest or two chests? You know, are there is there a difference between shops? Can you have some special shops and some non-special shops? Like, I don't know yet. We're only three runs in. Imagine trying to, you know, peg Isaac after, after only being three runs in. You'd be missing out on a lot of valuable, uh... A lot of valuable insight that only comes with experience. So that's why I'm not stressing out over progress too much here as we're just getting started. I mostly just want to experience the items and get kind of a foothold in what these items actually do. And, and beyond that, understand the composition of a floor and the loop that we should be engaging in in order to have the best chance possible of success. Okay, you totally do get a chest. The chest gave us a battery gun? Shock rifle. 
Yo, this seems pretty sweet. Only 250 ammo, but we can call down an ammo drop on occasion. Hopefully more than like once per floor. Okay, this seems awesome. Two-shotting these guys, which is not incredible damage, but, you know, could be worse. Oh, there's a, a way down here. Does require reloading as well. One thing I think Gungeon has, like, a huge advantage over a lot of other games in is it just looks so gorgeous. And not even just from an asset standpoint, but from an animation standpoint. Like, all the weapons are animated so nicely. It's not like you just get, you know, three different versions of, like, the same pistol. And you're like, just this one has fire bullets. Take my word for it. It's always like you shoot it and then it's like, just like a trail of flame that, like, ignites flammable material on the ground and leaves, like, a, a burn mark on it. It's that, like, from a presentation standpoint, it's very lovingly crafted. Like, even the way there's kind of, like, uh, extra environmental, like, shocking going on in the background there, or on the, on the floor after we hit somebody. Rubidine Prototype. It never quits. Let's go look at what this does. A prototype ricochet blaster. This blaster was created to test the limits of projectile impact and ricochet physics. Okay. I, I'm not a big fan of Ricochet. I'm a big fan of Nicolachet, former lead singer, maybe current lead singer for 98 Degrees. I don't know if 98 Degrees is still kicking it, but anyway. Um, this strikes me as a dangerous option for us on a room chock full of explosive barrels. It only comes with 200 ammo, so it must do... A, well, I'm, at least I'm operating under the assumption that it does a decent amount of damage. There should still be one more item available for us, I think. I want to do the full exploration before we quit this floor, of course, or before we uh, leave this floor. Because uh, I want to have enough money to buy something for the shop. If metronome was like 45, maybe? Okay, well, it says you gotta ricochet this. What happens if you ricochet it off the wall? Yeah, okay, it ricochets. Seems pretty sweet if you're uh, if you're prone to missing enemies, which, to be honest with you, I probably am sometimes, so... Get a little bit more advantage out of our bullets than, uh, than we otherwise would if we were just missing. I think this is the final room on this floor. Alright, these floors are starting to feel... Oh, no, it's not quite the final room on this floor, but... These floors are starting to feel like they move a little bit faster now that I kind of understand what's going on. It's going to cost us 65 to buy Metronome. So I may... Uh, have to wait on that till the next floor. And by next floor, I mean, obviously, we won't be getting the Metronome, but... One. We got 45... And then our final room here might be uh, some kind of item room. We have no keys, so I'm just going to shoot it open and hope for like a half heart. No, just exploded, actually. All right, crank on this. Open this door. We got the whole floor available to us now. Go see the shopkeeper. Do we want anything? I was going to say, if he has a key for sale, I'll feel like a real idiot. I don't, I don't think I want anything. I don't even think I want armor. Um, let's save our money and get some value out of it next floor. I'm going to take out the shock rifle. And we're going to be fighting Gatling Gull. I just skipped the boss animation there. Um, where are you at? There you are at. Uh, I think we should have a decent chance of getting out of this one without putting ourselves in too much uh, risk. And of course, like our overall goal is going to beat the boss. But if we can beat the boss and get the mastery that gives us the HP upgrade, that would be ideal. And with three blanks left over, I gotta admit, it seems, uh, fairly plausible. Just, like, don't even give yourself the chance to fuck this up, is basically where I'm at right now. Nice! That was extremely well done. I think that getting these HP upgrades is gonna be so key. So there we go, we got a full, uh, heart. We got our HP mastery, we also got Hegemony Carbine. All the same. Now, we actually just bought the Hegemony Carbine, didn't we? An advanced issue rifle for Hegemony troops primarily wielded by elite human soldiers as the Hegemony combat robots have superior weaponry. 600 uh, ammo, though. Let's head down to the next floor. I really should use an ammo drop. It was active for a while there. Um, but, uh, I didn't. But we can do so on the next floor. Hopefully, when we walk into a room that there's some enemies in. And then, um, maybe get something as a result of that. So it fires two shots. 
Maybe this is, uh, well, no, it only fires one shot if you, like, super quickly tap it. Oh, that was a good opportunity for a blank. That was stupid of me. And by a blank, I mean a blind. One day, I will say everything right. There will be no naming issues. What I was going to say is this might be the right time for us to, um, really say thank you to our accuracy bonus. Wouldn't have recommended that roll, but it did work out. Like, our accuracy bonus might be helping us out with the carbine, is what I mean to say. Um, let's go back to our shock rifle and pick this up, and we'll try to get an ammo drop whenever possible. I'm just realizing now that the ammo drop is actually just consumable. I mean, I don't, I don't think we really misused it there, because it was so useful for our boss, but uh, the, the shock rifle, that is. But I actually thought we could use it um, more than just once. But, uh, okay. I mean, that shows you how valuable ammunition can be, I suppose. If, uh, if you're only able to use it one time before they, they take it away from you forever. We got full HP. Oh. Honestly, the Hegemony Carbine actually seems like a really, really good item. Um, I don't I don't know if it, you know, it, it's as impressive as, as shooting a rocket launcher that shoots bees at your enemies, but I think that it does a good job of taking the enemies to their knees and making them take a look at your D and tell you if it looks like it is good at P. I don't know what that means. Okay. I'm, I'm taking some damage I'm not proud of, so I think I will go back with a Marine sidearm temporarily here. Although we have so many weapons, maybe we'll go with the Ricochet for a while. I just feel like um, we, we don't want to waste the ammo in our Hegemony Carbine, because it feels like that's a Floor 3, four, Floor 4 weapon or something. Right now, um, the ricochet seems less valuable. What do you got? Wind up gun. I, I think we should buy a key, honestly, instead of buying a gun, even though a bun, uh, a, a bun would be delicious right now. But a gun um, is kind of the more fun choice. I don't know why I constantly have to rhyme today, but I'd be lying if I said it felt like a crime, I say. Nah, this is okay. Um, I think we're set up pretty nicely. Oh, and there, we're just gonna use our key immediately. And we picked up a gun. So basically, we got a gun for 30 instead of paying 40 for it. But it was a kind of a wild card. Fire several pulses of decoherent energy, an early, less controlled version of modern energy weaponry. Hmm, there's another room back here. Uh, and we still have enough money to buy... I'd really like to buy, like, a passive item, because I feel like for weapons, we're kind of set right now. Yo, this seems like really good. It's like an energy shotgun with a, a pretty tight spread. Although that tight spread uh, might be a result of some consultations they had with your mother. That is just, a, that's rude, honestly. Okay, what about this? Can we do anything at this altar for once? The altar is empty. Do nothing. All right. All right. Well, there's a chest back here. Obviously, we do want to take advantage of that. But we'd like to get a key first rather than just shooting it. That's kind of a last-ditch effort. Hate this. Okay, this guy, you bring your A-game. We can dodge it, but I definitely do not mind using blinds. Blanks, god damn it. Nice. Reload, keep it moving here. One day, we're gonna look back on this and we're gonna be like, man, remember when we used to use uh, blanks to kill that uh, tombstone man? Those were the days, but that's just a natural progression, man. It would be the worst if we look back on this and then we're like, uh, Hey, remember when we used to actually be able to hit that guy without getting killed? I ain't about that. We're, we're about that, you know, self-improvement game. Hey, unlike Isaac, um, well, actually, very much like Isaac, don't make an effort to get right next to other enemies. That seems like a terrible choice. We're at 55 bullets. I'm still kind of of the opinion that we should, uh, Oh, that guy's got- he had some extra-dimensional credits. My favorite show on YouTube. No, um... We, uh... I think if we'd killed him, he would have given us some credits. If we'd killed him without dropping him in the drink, at least. We got pretty lucky to not get hit there. Um, I guess you lose money that falls into the pit as well. Hmm, boss fight. So... We're just gonna fill out the final part of our, uh... Of our floor here. And I really feel like if we can flawless this boss... We're going to be in a, an amazing position moving forward. Oh. 
I mean, we, we still have a little ways to go before that boss. Oh, I tried to... I tried to blank. But I didn't do it right. This is, uh, it's starting to go off the rails, but I feel like if I can flawless this boss and get up to, uh, 5 HP, if I can ever get back to full HP, that gives me a great base to have maybe the best run we've had so far. Nice dodges. The dodge roll is so key. It means that the, the kind of, uh, preference now, oh god, no keys. I hate it. Yeah, just exploded. Uh, the preference is now um, not to avoid enemies necessarily, but to to make sure that if a bullet's coming for you, rather than get out of the way, just right click, man. It's like a the parry that just don't quit. It's Matthew Perry. I hate to do it. Oh, we did get junk out of it, <laughs> which is good, I suppose, maybe, but not really. Um, I don't really want to buy wind up gun. I don't really want to buy ammo either, honestly. I think I'm just going to save my money and maybe we'll be able to get a Prime Primer. Which I've never actually gotten, so I have no idea how it's, uh... How it works. Alright. We got a freaking, uh, a little freaking, uh, rock snake here. The ammo con, the don't want none unless you got guns, huh? So we're going to just bang away at this one. And if the bullets get close... The close get bullets, you know? And I'm really, really thinking it's key to get the flawless here. Lucy Lawless? More like Lucy Flawless. I've never actually seen Xena Warrior Princess, so... I'm ba basically, the, you're just witnessing the neurons firing here. There's nothing behind them. I don't know if we should be using this gun, or if maybe I should have gone back to the... Pulse Rifle, which was working out really well, but, I mean, this is working out just fine, too! So far, so good, but still a little bit left of this fight to go. Great work, great work, keep it up. He's got freaking credits, man, he's got credits all up in his shit. Just keep shooting. It's gonna be me! Oh my god, we actually did it. I am amazed. We got an iron coin unlocked. A key. Some armor. We can't take this gun because we don't have it unlocked? Is that what's happening here? Backup gun. No, it's just a gun that shoots out of our back. Okay, I actually have had that one before. And then level 2 mastery here. Second chamber. What happened? That, that's just a symbolic but also HP upgrade. Iron coin. This potent artifact indicates mastery of the second chamber. Any who enter the dungeon are doomed to remain living in countless living countless lives in an effort to break the cycle. That was good. Yo, this is this is going pretty pretty well. Although, did that even give us HP? Now that I look at it. Come on, come on. Get in the little holster there. Yeah, it did. We definitely have five HP now. Alright, floor three. This is where floor three gets conquered. Bad fur day. That was a bad start there. Get out of here, you freaking Tonberry wannabe. So that's what backup gun is doing, by the way, in case you're not uh, aware of why we're shooting out of the back of us. It's a gun taped to our back, like a certain Bruce Willis movie I know. Disney's the kid from the year 2000, where he goes back in time to talk to himself as a child. No, it's, it's obviously from High Dard. I am admittedly kind of getting shit on here to start with. On this floor. What in the world is this gun totem pole? Oh my god. It's honestly not that hard to deal with right now, but... It's not an insignificant uh, nuisance to have to hang out with. There's one more? Oh my god, the last one just exploded. We got a key out of it, so... I'm happy about this. Can we just exit the room? Oh, we totally can. Okay. Well, we're gonna have to face an unfortunate truth pretty soon. We are out of, uh... Oh, god dang it. He didn't drop credits, so I actually have no idea what's going on with that. Maybe you have to kill the enemies in order and then they'll drop credits? I don't know. 
Okay, don't be afraid to use blanks, even not on bosses here. We stunned him somehow. Not a good floor. Um, we do have 102 bullets, though. 102 credits, whatever you want to call them. So, I'm thinking pretty soon we're going to be picking up a pretty nice upgrade from the shop. But I, I'll be honest with you, anything... I don't know if we would have been hurt by that, but why bother checking, right? Um, anything short of a level 3 victory would be a disaster. It would be a disappointment, at least. Disaster is a little bit of a loaded word, I suppose, that we reserve for, you know, hurricanes and earthquakes and stuff like that. But uh, it wouldn't feel right if we lost this one before we had our chance to really... You know, pop off here. One thing's for sure. Oh, that was bad. One thing's for sure that was bad. But also, one thing's for sure. Um, we should uh, buy some ammo from the shop. And I think we buy it for the hegemony carbine. Just, just better safe than sorry there. Um, we could buy it for the shock rifle, but I think the hegemony carbine is actually better. The shock rifle is pretty good, though. I think we've been relatively blessed with good weapon choices so far. The problem with buying ammo is that I might not have enough to get another item or enough to get HP, but let's see what we got in here. There's no prime primer. Meat bun and heavy boots. Well, we have had heavy boots before. Um, let's get the meat bun. Meat bun on a roll. So it's an item. Maybe it heals us? Heals for a small amount? And we've used it, and now it's it's gone forever. <laughs> well, maybe we should have just bought a heart instead. But you can store this. It's like a spirit heart. I guess you can pop whatever you want. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't really care that much about heavy boots. I'm not going to buy them. Um, we should buy ammo. And then I think, apart from that, maybe just save our money until, uh, until the next floor, assuming we live that long. I mean, I'd like to. We can always teleport back to the shop to get ammo, which is why I'm just kind of gunning it right now. Um... I think, I think we don't need to buy it just yet. I'm holding out for something better, even though I don't know if something better can happen. But that's why I'm holding out, man. I hate this. Knock their shit into the drink. Acceptable. I think they gave me a little assist on that dodge roll. Honestly, I think Ricochet Gun is starting to prove its value. Nick Lachey Gun is starting to prove its value. Um, come down here. Yeah, we did find our boss fight, but we're still lacking... Um, we're still lacking the items that we can get on this floor. And if we're not going to get... Uh, or let me put it this way. If we get a gun that is really good, then... I don't need to get ammo necessarily. What is this? It's like a VHS tape. Brick of Cash. Secrets of the Masons. Brick of Cash. Reveals secret doors. This can be used to pay off unscrupulous snitch bricks. Don't mispronounce that one. Who are willing to betray their mortared brethren for cold hard cash, not legal tender. Snitch bricks who are willing to betray their mortared brethren for cold hard cash. Can I be honest with you? I got no idea what this means. I feel like we have no place on this room. Um, so we got one more setup down here. Reveals secret rooms. Well, keep an eye out. Like, I don't think that does anything for us. We should have some combat. Oh my god. How many of these freaking gun totem poles do we have to deal with? I guess if you just go hard on them, it seems like they're not that bad. Okay, this gun is just straight up empty. Nice. Oh, and the extra blank is actually huge. I'm not going to pick up ammo for the, the ricochet gun. I just don't think it's worth it. Although it is, like, it's solid. It's better than our starting gun for sure, but... Am I really doing this room for no other reason than to... Than to prove I can? Is there any other reason that could possibly be as good? Oh, this should be an item, actually. Worth it. Hey, what's up, dog? That means secret room? Yeah! Okay. So that's how we find out where our secret rooms are. Oh my god, I... Because of the back gun, I shot the chest. Oh, gentle Jesus. 
Yo, okay, use the gun. I, I really figured it would explode faster. Yeah, dude. It, it, you're right. It does seem like there's a secret room here. Oh, okay. Maybe if you use a blank. Took us a while there, but we did figure it out. I didn't just abandon it. Okay, go back to our shop. If we buy the ammo. Honestly, I think we just get it for the hegemony carbine. I'm going to buy a full heart as well, just to keep us good. All right, let's try to get 6 HP here against the level 3 boss. I got high hopes. I got high apple pie in the sky hopes. This is the guy who killed us last time. All I desire is life. If we live against the treadnought, I'm going to feel like a million bucks here. And I'm going to feel like we made some delicious progress. Yo, uh, first things first, I'm the realist. Drop, drop the base, let the whole place feel this. And I'm still in the murder business, so I gotta hold it down like I'm teaching lessons in physics. Oh, you should want a bad bitch like me? I don't remember the rest of the, the lyrics to Fancy. I mean, of course I know that oh, I'm so fancy. I'm trying to see if maybe some of these enemies have like, uh, oh my god. Some of these enemies have uh, resistances. This guy is my own fucking nightmare. Okay, you gotta be taken out. Some bosses you... Oh, go for the boss first. Some bosses you go for the minions. I think we're gonna die here. And, you know, dying here is gonna be very sobering for me personally. No! I dodged, but I dodged in the wrong direction. Oh my god, we have to get way better at fighting the Treadnought, man. Level 3, don't use blanks for anything. Still, a good run. I hope you enjoyed it. That's the Marine. We're going to come back next episode, and we're going to play as... Just give him a second to get in here. We're going to play as maybe the Hunter. Born under punches. No, but uh, start with a crossbow and a sweet little corgi companion. For now, thanks for watching. Thanks so much for your support of the series so far. It's been amazing, uh, and it really helps make this into a long-running thing that is easy to keep going. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.